Hey guys, I know by Soap here, and today Apple has officially released iOS 11.2 Beta 6 to registered developers and once again to public beta testers simultaneously so both developers and public beta testers can get a hold of 11.2 Beta 6. Now if you're coming from iOS 11.2 Beta 5 into Beta 6, you're going to see a large file, 2 gigabytes plus. Now this is not going to take a lot of space, this is pretty much overwriting the entire operating system because iOS 11.2 Beta 6 will be the gold master copy, pretty much the official candidate that's going to be released in a few days or maybe next week or so to the general public so what it does is is it updates with the latest beta when it's a gold master copy it rewrites the entire operating system that's why you see such a large file those who are coming from iOS 11.1.2 or below are going to see a uh, 2.2 gigs or plus because it's overwriting the entire operating system same thing applies with betas when we go to master copies so that's the reason for that 11.2 build number short 15 c114 that's going to be the latest build number for 11.2 beta 6 gold master copy now there's a few things i wanted to address with this software and of course if you want to update to the software you got to go to settings general and you of course want to go to software updates and right here you'll get prompted uh, 11.2 beta 6 should populate if you don't have airplane mode enabled like I do on your device just like that so there you guys have it 11.2 beta 6 so what's new with this software there's a few things that this software will bring for those of you who haven't been following my beta coverage on the lock screen the first thing you'll notice is a little bar here on the top right that's going to indicate where you can swipe down for the control center control center continues I'm almost dropping my phone today control center continues to be on the top uh, we haven't seen iMessages with an iCloud I talked about this before in the previous beta it wasn't present and unfortunately I don't think it's going to be at this point Apple could either enable it remotely like they did with Apple Cash or Apple Pay Cash peer-to-peer -peer payments with an iMessage or uh, they'll just scrap the whole uh, feature altogether because as I've talked about it before it was scrapped on 11.0 beta 2 or beta 3 and never to return so it's not present here iMessages with an iCloud nowhere to be found of course with 11.2 beta 6 there's also new faster 7.5 wireless fast wireless charging that's going to be enabled on the devices that support wireless charging like the iPhone 8 iPhone 8 plus iPhone 10 so it was down at 5.0 fast wireless charging or fast wireless charging 7.5 is going to be enabled on 11.2 that's another feature coming to ios 11.2 so big one there as well you may see uh, a faster charge uh, on your device if you do the faster wireless charging maybe increased by a good i don't know uh, if you were from zero to 100 in uh, an hour and 45 minutes you'll see it drop to maybe an hour and 35 or 30 minutes nothing drastic but it's always good to see improvements now there's also a prompt that you're going to get when you enabled bluetooth and wi-fi on 11.2 if you haven't again if you haven't been watching my beta coverage that's something to look forward to it explains a little better on why apple uh, doesn't really disable the toggles with the control center when you toggle them on or off they're temporarily uh, disconnecting so for those of you who don't understand what i'm saying here is wi-fi if i go to control center and turn it off that's not really turning it off it's disconnecting you see they're still on but it disconnects and then you can turn it on and it will connect again but there's a prompt on 11.2 to better explain that again alongside with bluetooth as well when you enable or disable and other bug fixes a ton of bug fixes with ios 11.2 there's been just so many bugs autocorrect bug frizz issues everything is going to be packed on 11.2 and apple has gradually been fixing a lot of these issues with 11.11 11.12 it's just been sort of a little bit of a mess especially on iphone 10. uh so of course you guys want to stay tuned the battery test will be coming your way 11.2 a uh, gold master copy this one i'm going to put it against 11.1 Point two, which is the latest release for the public and we should expect 11.2 to hit the general public sometime next week uh, it's pretty much around the corner uh, that's pretty much a quick recap of everything that's happening no new features have been added for those of you who always ask about new wallpapers no new wallpapers whatsoever on this latest beta however 11.2 will bring new wallpapers for those iphone 10 users as well new live wallpapers there but again guys nothing new in terms of features when it comes to ios 11.2 other than stuff that we already talked about hope you guys enjoyed the video stay tuned uh, in a few days here we'll see the battery test i hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you real soon peace